How are you feeling? How do you feel right now compared to at this time last year? I feel great. I feel like I play like a only seven games. Um, the prepare game Dominican in here last year was great. So I feel great. They, they see me do my job over there in the, at the training room and then waiting room. They saw me go and say good job for what I'm doing yeah, at this time. In your mind, is the groin a non-issue now or is it something you still need to maintain on it? No, I'm not paying attention anymore about that. Uh, I'm working hard for big grade right now. And then just focus on uh, the spin training now. Uh, play hard. Uh, everybody know how, how hard I play when I was in the base, and then that's what you guys see right now. Would you describe like, your confidence level, your health, with everything that you dealt with? It's still the same confidence, doing what I'm doing. And then I don't have to show anybody, so I think I have to show now how ready I am, and this, that's what I've been doing now. How did you convince the Mets to let you play in the Dominican this winter? Uh, they told me last year if I want to play, I say no. Uh, but I was practiced and then do something for my leg, and I feel good. I feel like I'm playing. I told to the GM, and then I told people in the in the training room, I wanted to play, and they see, they told me if he, if I want to play, I say yes. Say why? They told me why. I say because I feel like I'm, I'm ready now, and then I want to show you guys I'm, I'm ready to play, and, and then I play. What did you learn from that experience? Spain was great. Uh, play with Escobedo uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was good. I showed those guys how hard to play, uh, how the league is, how the league in Dominica is, how hard it is, and then they follow me and doing good. And what did but what did you learn about your like your physical condition and your ability to play? I don't know I'm good. That's what I learned. What kind of uh, conversations have you had with the We don't talk it down. Not yet. We don't talk it. Do you think that's something, DH, is something that you could use to help you stay healthy, or do you want to be in right field pretty much every day? I want to be on the field every time. That's what I like, be on the field. Uh, you know, help the pitcher when I get a chance to, to catch the ball, and then do what I do every time Every time I step out to the field, and then help most, most I can. Do you expect to be your old self on the bases? I speak to it still in base most I can. <laughs> How did it feel when you were out there playing in the Dominican League for the first time? Was it a relief that you were playing without pain? I feel good because that's what I want. I want to play. Uh, I show I show him and every, everybody. I don't have to worry about my leg because I'm good. I'm ready to play. So they want to make sure that everything that every every everything I say is is right, and then. They, they go to Dominican to see if we, this is good, and then they tell me congratulations for what I'm doing, and thank you for giving the trust to talking, you know, what I feel and what I not feel, and what I want, and then they tell me, yeah, I'm ready to play next year, so keep doing what you're doing, and be healthy. Have you had any conversations with Carlos Mendoza this offseason? Not yet. I mean, on the whole season, yeah, we're talking a lot, uh, but nothing like about baseball, just about family, you know, how I am, and everything like this. What are your first impressions of him? Mi impresión de Detroit. Bueno, um, ahora mismo acabo de llegar, ¿sabes? Eh, he estado viendo al muchacho, he estado eh, conversando con los nuevos, y me he ido presentando, y las cosas van, 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 van bien. No, yeah, so I just got here. I'm, I'm starting to get to know the, the the new guys on the team. I'm just starting to get acclimated to to, to, to this new clubhouse, but um, but so far, so good. You mentioned wanting to show to fans, wanting to show to us that you're healthy. Do you feel like you have something to prove in terms of being out there? No, I'm not have to prove anything. Just play my game and then focus uh, in 
what I'm gonna do. Uh, be ready for every day and have fun. We think about this team tomorrow. Great team. Everybody know that. So when we step on the field and uh, opening day, we show what, what we got and play the game hard. Did you have any migraines or any issues with that over the all season? No, thank God for that. Because last year I was like, <laughs> feel so bad about that. But right now, I don't, I don't have it anymore. anymore and then I don't have to worry about this. Uh, if it happens, it happens. It's normal. Uh, but if you know, ready, ready to go. Do you take medications for the migraines? Last year, yes. I take a couple more, but I don't have to use any more. Where, that... where did you feel that the injury hampered you the most? And what, what did you kind of have to feel um, on the field to know that you were back to 100%? El año pasado, ¿a dónde tú sientes que, que esa lesión um, te hizo el más efecto? Uh, ahora mismo, ¿cómo te sientes? Uh, me hizo efecto en la mente, ya que eh, fue una lesión difícil, la cual nunca había pasado por eso, de estar, eh, ¿sabes? Nunca había tenido operación ahí, la dificultad que tuve, que no podía hacer lo mismo que, que hacía, pero me mandan a programa, eh, vimos buenos resultados, me di en el programa, lo estuve haciendo, y por eso me siento tan bien ahora. Yeah, I think it, it really affected me mentally, um, to begin with, just because it's something that I had never gone through in my career, just having that type of operation, um, feeling a little bit more limited. They sent me to, to all these different programs, all these different training, training places, and, um, and now the reason why I do feel so much better is because they did send me to those places, so. So now is, is, is what I start when I feel 100%. And so like at, at the, around this time last year, you were a little delayed getting into games, but you were overall very optimistic about your groin. Are you, I, I guess, how do, you, how do you feel now compared to when you showed up at spring training last year? Okay. I feel great. I feel great. Are the, are the migraines something that you that's in your mind that you're that you're afraid might reoccur. La migraña son es algo que tú sientes que que puede suceder de nuevo. Es algo que tú piensas y se sale tiene un poco de miedo. Es es una migraña que me da una vez al año, la cual me voy de no puedo hacer nada porque me da muy mal. El año pasado fue la gran diferencia que me dio tres veces seguido en muy en muy en el, en el tiempo muy corto. Y eso fue lo que nos preocupó de mandarme a especialista y chequear qué es lo que estaba pasando. Yeah, no, with the migraines, it's a, it's a migraine that I get like once a year. Um, but I think last year the thing that was that was so concerning was that I had three migraines in a, in a short period of time, and and that was worrisome to me and, and to the training staff. And they sent us to get to get some some tests done, and um, we were finally able to kind of get the 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 root of it because the when, when a migraine hits me. It, completely knocks me out so um, it was definitely troubling at that last year but, but I feel like we have it under control.